Hey everybody, Toby here with another Stratego game analysis. This was an old archive game of me uh, playing against a Marshall Blitzer. And this is when I just started playing at Stratego.com and I was a pretty bad player. So well, let's see how I, I uh, played this game. It's, it's one of my uh, all-time favorite games. When you play, oh, maybe a couple thousand games I've probably played over the years. And this might be one of my top five favorite, uh, most memorable game, because it was a disaster. So let's let's see how uh, let's see how this turned out. We'll get started. This isn't a great setup either. So the person I was playing, whoop, let's go back real quick. It was a beginner two, two eighty, ten games above five hundred. So I didn't think it was a, a lot of work, but it, it could have been a lot of, I mean, a, a Marshall Blitzer. So, but, uh, so let's see what happens here. Now this, this, this setup is terrible. If someone for, for a lot of work, a lot of times, a lot of work just bring their Marshall down here, go over and then go down and that would be game over. So this setup is really not, not for, uh, for, uh, to be, to beat Lottoers, but it's really not good for uh, Marshall Blitzers either if they're coming down on this side. You need to have your spy really with your general and colonel on the weak side. I like using this four spy marshal setup here. That's the most common trap. At least I knew how to do that when I first started. You can win a lot of games with this, with a major spy marshal trap here. This piece coming from behind the lake, it's usually a high piece when you play these low level players. You can almost bet this is like a general or a, a marshal when you play the 200, 300 level players. And even even higher rank players. These always check these eight squares behind the lakes. That's where all the good pieces are. That's why they hide them behind the lake. I really need to find out what this is because I'm in a little trouble if that's the marshal. <laughs> so I need to make an escape lane for my colonel. And I'm thinking this is a marshal blitz. He's scouting everything. I don't know. So it looks like it is a, like a marshal blitz and he's pinching me with his uh, general in the center. So I'm already down a captain. So we're going to scare the general back. Now, ideally, I should bring the marshal up and sacrifice. But I need to get my general up here to follow up. And my general's in a bad spot. I probably should have moved the miner over and left the scout there. Make, made, I should have made pretend that this bluffed that this was a spy. But I panicked here. I was worried that somehow the marshal was going to get my colonel and the spies over here. And I didn't know what I was doing, really. At least we got this part right. So now you know one of these is a spy. So this is probably a colonel. So I should have shot my general up there right away instead of the colonel. So he went back on defense. So at least I'm going to get this captain back. And I 
was hoping the marsh would come down and I could get him with the spy. That would have been nice. Now I probably should have followed up with my my general here and just lottoed everything, right? Because that's one of the tactics. I didn't have to lotto though, but I did with the colonel. It's a valid option to do. So there was the other colonel. So if I would have lotted with the general, I would have got that colonel. And then you, then you can stop lottoing. Now, if I would have been smart, I just would have brought my general up here and attacked this without even scouting it, because you knew it had to be a colonel. So that was good, I found a bomb here. That was nice to know. A lot of times they have a bomb, sometimes they have two bombs, or like an L here. Most of their bombs are on this side. They, they rarely have many over here unless they have a flag in the corner. So now I'm thinking about lottoing here, trying to get something, get something that, that has moved, but unfortunately I'm getting low pieces. And I'm probably not checking. I'm going too fast. That's a, a one thing many beginners do. And just like me when I was a beginner, you play too fast. You don't think what you're doing. You don't check the graveyard to see where you stand. I wasn't really losing. You know, uh, I was I was down a sergeant, so it's it's not a big deal. Uh, my flags, you know, protected with bombs. So, whoops, I hit a bomb. I finally found a bomb. So this Marshall Blitzer was very smart. I like that. To have one, I might even have two bombs random on this side of the board just to stop people from lottoing after they sacrifice their Marshall. That was very good. And you notice when I hit this when I hit this bomb, I was ready to quit and discuss. Watch watch the uh, surrender flag here. Let's go back. I was so close. As soon as I hit the, as soon as I hit the bomb, you can see I'm thumbing here, ready. But then I said to myself, "Wait a minute. These Marshall Blitzers almost always have an open flag, and it's almost always on, almost always on the uh, Marshall side. Sometimes it's in the center square over here. So these six columns, the six columns." on the Marshall side. It's almost, the flag is almost always there and it's almost always open. So I figure, well, I might not be able to get my Colonel to go this way. I have to move my spy to get my Colonel this way to get these four, to test these four pieces. But maybe if I go this way behind and then get to these four pieces, and maybe I can win the game that way. So, luckily I have a miner here. And I, inc I, I think that's very smart to have at least one or maybe two miners up high. When you play lower ranked players. Because a lot of times they like to bomb in their sides. And I don't, I don't recommend that. But you can try it out to see for yourself if you like it or not. But if you have all your miners on the back row... Then you have to move a lot of pieces to get the miner up there. And that that wastes a lot of time. And I guess that's why they bomb off a side. Uh, so they can attack real fast before you can counterattack. You know, they know you have to move all your pieces out to get your miner up. And they can keep on attacking your side. So it's a good idea to have a couple miners. Uh, 
centralized and then uh, and if the sides aren't bombed off you can always pull them back so but this is a goal now to bring a miner up test this piece or this piece for a bomb and then start lottoing with the with the kernel and it's really not a it's really not that risky because a lot of the bombs are in these two columns here the far column and we found three bombs. We found one here, we found one here, and I'm gonna hit this piece with the miner, and this is gonna be a bomb. So we, we're gonna find three bombs. And a lot of times they bomb off the side. So it would be three, four, five, or maybe three, four, five, six. So uh, once you find that third bomb, it's, it's really not that, uh, risky to bring your kernel in over here and then to head towards these four squares. That's the goal and that's what we want to do. was that was one fun game that was one uh victory that i really cherished i probably should have played the lotto that uh, day <laughs> uh hitting seven pieces and then the flag but you know that can happen when you know the pattern recognition you know and then you find three or four bombs then you can just do a massive slaughter here and i got lucky that turned down i mean i got unlucky when i hit this with my general but the colonel did a lot better and that's when we hit our sixth enemy unit in a row and then we hit seven and then we got the flag so my my opponent did a a big mistake here when when you have an open flag and you see that your opponent is going to start lottoing you have to get your marshal back there in time or your colonel back there in time to play defense. That was a big mistake that this person did. Instead of moving these pieces, this person had to move this piece up and over and get the marshal to this spot to guard the flag. But unfortunately, unfortunately he was he was worried about this piece. I don't know why he moved that piece. You know, he moved it up and over when he should have been moving this up and over and and getting the uh the marshal down here so that was that was his downfall and that's a just that's just a terrible way to lose but that's the gamble when you have an open flag open flags are always dangerous and when you bring your pieces down your marshal down and your colonel down, your high pieces down to, to the opponent's side of the board, your flag is very vulnerable to a lot of. So don't do that. If you want to uh, uh, win a lot of games, bomb in your flags, and you'll have a, uh, have a much higher winning percentage in the long run. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.